Okay, Breaker Broke 23. Today I have uh, a neat little item. This is uh, called the Wireless ISSC Bluetooth Receiver. It's 8 watts mono, runs off 9 volts DC. And it looked pretty interesting. There's lots of stuff you can do with this. And uh, let me, first of all, let me go over the board. Okay, it is what it is. It runs off 9 volts. Rather well, actually. Okay, so for about $8 eight uh, dollars and change you can get this board shipped from China and it has the main board here and then it has the uh, little Bluetooth board uh, soldered on the top of this and the engineers did a kind of a neat thing with this uh, where the antenna is see the little squiggly right there that's the antenna right and they etch the copper off the back of the board um, so it doesn't interfere and if that copper was on the back of the board it could possibly knock the range down okay um, it on the power connector here and speaker connector they're pretty easy let me unplug these here these are these little micro connectors on uh, most of these um, positive is the right pin so on this one here we have power positive negative on this on this plug over here we have the output or the speaker output positive and negative and I just reached into my bin and got a couple plugs from uh, Car Alarm. And these were just, this is a plug off an old LED that was all bashed up. So I just cut the end off, soldered it onto the 9 volt connector here. This is from a valet switch. So they plug in there really neatly. And it is color coded properly. Most of these little micro plugs, like I say, have always been positive on the right so it just happened to match up so we looked out there okay so I've been playing this for a while on this little 9 volt battery it uh, it, it gets pretty loud I mean it's 8 watts um, it sounds pretty good um, the idea is I'm gonna build another one of these speakers and basically this speaker is one that I built for my shop uh, for my CB and I wanted something that was kind of loud and um, was uh, had a good voc uh, vocal characteristic, you know, like from 300 to 3,000 hertz. So I'm using a bulk 4x10 car stereo speaker, um, half inch MDF, and I just butt jointed everything together. And um, I used uh, some masonite here and built my little grill, wrapped it with some grill cloth, and held it with some magnets. Okay. Not the prettiest thing in the world. I never, you know, sealed the ends or anything. This has been in my garage forever, so pardon the dirt and dust. But um, anyway, no finish work, just black. I used flat black paint and uh, then clear coated it. And then, of course, the speaker outlet here in the back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build another one of these. Uh, this time, and I'll build it roughly the same dimensions. This time, uh, for the speaker, I'm going to use like a... Oh, I don't know, a 4x10 um, coaxial, something really, really super, super efficient. So something like a little cheap Pioneer coaxial or something like that, maybe a little kicker coaxial. You can find them on the internet pretty cheap. Just a, like, I don't know, like a pair of 20 waters or something. As long as they're coaxial, so you have a little high end in them. Um, and then what I'm going to do is take this little module here and say mount this up here on the corner, upside down obviously. Mount this up front, okay, so I can get maximum range, okay? Then what I'll do on the back, because I know it runs really good with that 9-volt battery, so now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Goodwill, and I'm going to get a 9-volt wall wart. And on the back here, I'm going to put just like a square plate, and I'll have a plug for the wall wart. And then the wall wart will give the little amplifier its power. So we're going to have a wall wart, maybe a little mini toggle on-off switch, and I think even up here somewhere, uh, let me get and pick that out. Maybe I'll put a blue LED over there or up there or something. Because I think that blue is going to shine. You know, those blue LEDs are so damn bright. I think it'll shine through there just fine. So that's going to be our little project. Now, I am impressed with this. This has pretty good range, receive-wise. And even just on this speaker setup here, it's way louder than this Altec, the store-bought Altec. 
Okay, it pairs up really nice. It's cheap. If you need to, you can run it off a darn nine volt battery. So whatever your speaker project is, maybe you wanna do up a little, you know, four inch driver or something like that, throw it in a little box or something and take it with you. you, you can always do that. I mean, just it being nine volts makes it so flexible. You could use the nine volt battery. You could use a nine volt uh, rechargeable battery. You could maybe uh, solder you up a battery pack uh, to get close to nine volts and you know charge you up a nice battery pack and you'd have tunes all day long. Um, you can power it with a nine volt wall wart and um, that's probably the way to go. Okay, anyway, tons of fun. You can uh, Google search this or search this on YouTube by typing in wireless ISSC Bluetooth receiver, 8 watts mono, 9 volts DC. More fun with Bluetooth. Cool. Thanks for watching.